Oh, well, when you think of high-level European rep of Mega Man, it's just, you know, Trim is the one that appears. Yeah, I mean, we did have, uh, in early old, and obviously in Smash 4, we did have uh, an, a Dutch Mega Man called Loading, who was one of my favorite players to watch, actually, just in general. Shout-outs to him. Um, and obviously, he, I think he took a step back. Yeah. Uh, and, he, and then he, I think he's come back recently, and he also Ooh. plays Mega Man and Joker, Excellent. which Trim does. So maybe it's like a pattern. Maybe they cover it, match-ups really well. But either way, we're going to see what... Flying Llama's Mega Man can do against Armagar's Dark Samus. Yeah, very, very curious. You mentioned earlier that uh, obviously Flying Llama not going to be any stranger to projectiles, so this is going to be very interesting. Obviously, Samus is equipped with, I want to say, slightly better boxing tools, or at least better emergency tools than our good friend Mega Man, but obviously Mega Man has very interesting confirms, does have that bear as well. Could do some serious damage and kill Samus a little bit earlier than maybe some of the other contenders we have in this wave could, as just trying to find a way. I've got a grab coming up there, just trying to find a follow-up, but just sort of downloading where Aramgar likes to go after being beaten out. Yeah, I agree Like about, like, you know, they both have projectiles, they can both box. I feel like Samus does box better. The, yeah. the thing is as well is that Samus actually has a really good get off me button. You know, she's got oh, yeah. B. Mega Man doesn't really have that many fast options to get off him, apart from Pellet, but it only hits in front of him. Uh, and you can fire three at once, but that's not really doing too much compared to Samus's up B hits on both sides and can take you off the top. So I feel like in the boxing area, Dark Samus is going to be loving that, especially when you've got a charge up close. Doesn't matter if it's fully charged or little, you're going to be putting off stage or into the blast zone. That was an absolutely filthy trap, and you can start to see some of the differences here. If these two play the same game, the fact of the day is that Aramgar is just a bit better equipped to deal with these situations. Looks like Flying Llama going to have to get a little bit more creative in that sense. But yep. obviously, early days, we're still getting the download, figuring out what's going on. Still, Aramgar is pulling ahead. And I feel like as well, we talk about boxing, I feel like Samus has better range too. You just saw the fair into the Zare kind of string. I feel like the Zare is so long. A uh, really good hitbox of just stuffing out uh, Mega Man's options, kind of having to force him to approach in different ways. Maybe uncomfortable. And you're seeing Flying Little Llama uh, kind of finding it hard to kind of like get into Armagar's face. Yeah, certainly is. Trying to use those ranged bombs as well. Oh they could God. force Armgar to give up a bit of this stage position using those kind of leaf shields, using those bombs. It's going to give them a lot of freedom. Unfortunately, Armgar refusing to be budged as a second up throw takes it. If it doesn't work, try and try try again. Uh, that Perseverance working uh, well for Armagar right now. And Llama just in a little bit of trouble right now. Can't really find their footing at the moment. Just trying to see if they can get any type of stock. The eyes in on the down throw. Doesn't get any feral back air though. Just going to live to see another day. Armagar, the Perseverance coming in strong yet again. Doesn't want to die. It refuses to. Sent down once again trying to find a way back. The crash bombs are dirty. But back air coming out, sending out. Still not dying though. Looks like Flying Llama has to go deep. Trying to find a spike. Not going to do it. Suddenly the reversal is here. Such a quick option coming out. Great reactions from Armagar. Yeah, the lemons you know, kind of pelting the Armagar with it, not looking too sweet right now. Has to work on the different flavors, and oh man, that's not going to taste too nice. The down throw, but oh, 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 my goodness, that little smirk on his face when he hit that one as well. Yeah, he looked happy with that. <laughs> They were happy with that one for sure. And I just because I don't want to say that went from like zero to a hundred, that kind of went from like. I, I don't know, it was it was just like a steady climb, and like before yeah. you notice, like oh. God, cry like like that was a three zero, but it really didn't look like it. Well, the th the thing is, is like it was kind of like going steadily in Armagar's pace, but yeah. like I said, that that down that down throw back air straight away, and then in the back air again off stage. Uh, I feel like they just took Llama by surprise, and they were definitely flying just into the blast zone uh, for their own good for sure. I feel like Armagar looked really comfortable that whole game. Like he yeah. just looked uh, really in motion. Uh, and it was kind of like on Llama's kind of case to kind of see where they can like kind of fit themselves in, but there was no uh, space available. Yeah, definitely. It seems that we've been, uh, I think the issue that Flying Llama really is having is that we've discussed this kind of already on how these two match up when they're playing the same game. For sure. And the issue is we've already kind of highlighted it. When you play these sort of engages, you're playing these certain engage ranges, I should say. Samus is going to beat you out. Like that, they've got the frame there, they've got better boxing tools, and they have more oppressive long range. For sure. But that means Flying Llama has to get a bit more creative. You can't match our, our Moragar on their home turf. You mm -hmm. have to get a bit more creative. You have to maybe play a little bit further back. Because obviously, we haven't seen them really get pummeled by charge shots at long range. We only see them just take one to the mouth and then immediately die. So it's an issue with Flying Llama managing to get in. But obviously, the solution to that is clearly to pick a slightly different little blue man. Interesting. Going for the villager pick. Um, maybe guessing just to, to pocket those projectiles to maybe kind of like, uh, kind of negate and neuter the projectile game. So it's more on, on the boxing of Dark Samus, but I feel like that doesn't really matter uh, in this matchup. They've got, still got a lot of options to kind of beat out Villager with. So maybe the secondary Villager might not be a good pick, but you know, what do I know? Llama might know more than me uh, in this situation. You see trying to pocket the charge shot already. 
Yeah, let's find out. Obviously, try. I think uh, it looks like what Flying Llama is trying to do here is basically just establish a base camp, which is right. you know, something that Villager can do. I think I think Villager, you can do, kind of be that wasp in the airspace, be really annoying. But also, what Villager is great at is obviously they've got these Lloyds, they've got this tree, they can just set up camp. Yeah. Doesn't mean you can approach them because they will reflect it back at you. And obviously, Flying Llama more than happy to do that, as this is looking a little bit more even than before. Well, yeah, definitely. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work out in Villager's favor sometimes, but also it's going to force Armor of uh, to be like more precise with how they want to use Tarjo. If they get to uh, you know, liberal with it, they're just gonna, it's not gonna really, uh, end up too well for them. And I think this village is gonna take it all, uh, yeah. considering why it's the, uh, the projectile war. Yeah, I'm very excited to see how Flying Llama uses these swallowed uh, charge shots. But obviously, if Amorogar does get the download on that, they are just gonna start baiting the pickup. As a double fair coming out, sent out once again, still fairly even, but it looks like Flying Llama might go down if Amorogar does get the right read. Gonna see what we can do. Dash back, dash forward. But these pellets, just so annoying, man. This is probably what Flying Llama was looking for, just keeping Amorogar in disadvantage. Finally, it looks like they got a string going. Yeah, I mean, the, the constant walling is gonna be very annoying for, obviously, for Amorogar to try to get in. I feel like Llama's doing a good job of just kind of setting the pace. I feel like they're, uh, they're able to kind of like make sure it's their game plan. Uh, the percent wise doesn't really tell the story so far, but I feel like Llama feels more comfortable in this matchup for sure. Yeah, you can see Amorga is starting to slow down a little bit, you know, trying to question those approaches, oh, but there's that boxing tool we were talking about. You can't get too close. This is where Flying Llama is finding a lot of those L's as well. Yeah. Just flying in the airspace, a little too close, suddenly you get punished, and that just descends very quickly. And I'm loving the option, uh, option kind of, it's, it seems to be kind of an option select from Llama. Like they're putting a Lloyd and they're putting a slingshot. Uh, slingshot in the air and then a Lloyd Rocket on the ground. So it's kind of like pick your poison. Uh, and I don't feel like there's no antidote at the moment for uh, Armagar to kind of find a way in. Uh, but finds the up B. Yeah. That might be the, the, the true antidote for real, <laughs> keeping them alive as well. Yeah, so. ain't no cure for that, baby. As back into it. We're going to see if Flying Lama can find a kill. We've seen that they can reflect damage. We've seen that they can rack it up. But we don't know how they kill right now. Is the up smash, Ooh. down smash not coming out? Again, a little bit shameless with it as well. Just a little bit. Smash into spot dodge into smash is the classic, but. Not going to work out against Armagar. Just thinking it's that little bit more. But okay, the slingshot Ooh. finally getting the kill. I feel like this is Villager's problem, though, because they're, they're designed to be very annoying and very, like, you know, projectile heavy and the, the walling. But the kills are, are, are seems to be the problem for Llama. Yeah, you, you got to And they're costing too much percent uh, for Armagar's case. Yeah, it certainly is. Builds the tree. Going to see if they can get anything. Tries to chop it down. Not going to do much so far. Lloyd comes through. We've got full charge on shot. Ooh. Watch the shield as well now. Good job jumping over the Lloyd as well. Eating that charge shot. Going to recover Logan and see if we can get down there or something. Nope, the bomb's just going to fly through, get a little bit of extra damage on there. No spikes coming out, though. Yeah, and good fair. Just setting up the autopilot on the ledge just seems to be too strong. Oh, where uh, are you going, to deal with. But Okay, pick a side. Picks the left side, goes on the left, but doesn't seem to have any rights on getting back to central stage, man. It's just looking a bit too tough for, um, uh, for Flying Llama right now. Yeah, it certainly is. Keeps reading these jumps with the fair. It's just such free damage. It's forced out. Lloyd's going to force... Amorgar to go high, but still we're just clashing projectiles here. Finally able to get a little bit of ground, just clawing their way through. Can't quite do it as finally looks like we're back to center as the up smash does come through. Can't get the fall in turnips though. Yeah, this is what I mean, man. Like <clears throat> the walling, sorry, is good. Like the walling is good. They're keeping Armagar from, the, from their face, but they're not getting any kill from it. So yeah, it, the game plan's working, but it's not working to the full extent. There's no get, there's no kill. Uh, and Armagar is, able, is, is cool with just being shot at because it's fine. Because like that, I can just kill you. Uh, yeah. And it's kind of Llama, again, kind of having to catch up every single time. And they're not looking too fast right now. Man. I mean, that entire sequence was probably, what, like a minute and 30, 45 yeah. seconds? And, you know, Ar Amorogar took maybe 45%. <laughs> like, it's it's great getting nickels and dimes, but, buddy, it's a cost of living crisis, all right? We've got to buy some good good meats, all right? That's real rap. As we make our way in, 75 on to Amorogar right now as the fair comes through once again. Looks like Flying Llama just starting to fall apart. Are able to get these small hits, but we're not getting those kinds of chases and traps and those option selects we were getting earlier. They're not able to get the big damage. And I feel like Armaga has been doing a lot of baby shots into the full charge shot, kind of trying to, uh, trying to bait the pocket, uh, and just so he can punish with the full parry. So I do like that option from from Armaga. You know, like I said, he's, he's being made to use charge shot in a more smart way, right? It, it, to use it in a different way. Mm. Being neutered in, in that aspect, we can't just spam it. And I don't think Llama is kind of adapting to that adaptation that Armaga's putting on. Yeah, it's true, the pot coming through, but he's nowhere near for a Safe bowling ball, my two. friend. Forced on out. Looks like oh, Morgar going to run away with it. Ends exactly the same way the first game did. As our Morgar moving on with a very crisp 2-0. I just think, like, I feel like Armagar was more... <clears throat> I can't even say that tag right, but I'm my bad. But I feel like, <laughs> like Armagar like uh, was more well-suited to that 
whole matchup rather mm. than just like kind of the the counter picking war, uh, which I do think smart. I do think it's yeah. personally I think it's better to counter pick in this in in this game now. Uh, I did used to think it was better to be a solo character and just work your way up because you're not that good at the game. Obviously, it's usually on your character, but personally, it, I think it's better to be have many characters in the bag and just like you know pick different characters, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's, it's you know there's a lot of characters you need to counter picks in my opinion, but. Um, Either way, this didn't really work out for Llama right there. I think um, Armagard made a good case of why solo, solo maining 